Hi and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hair bow tutorial. So if you have a daughter who likes to wear hair bows, such as my daughter who so graciously is modeling these two hair bows for me, keep watching and I will show you how easy it is to make a basic bow. You will never have to buy a store-bought bow again and better yet, you'll be able to coordinate the bows to your daughter's outfits or make them festive for the holidays. It's honestly so much fun. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make the two bows pictured here. This one that's a little less um, embellishments and then this one that is more festive. So if this is something that interests you, keep watching. The supplies you will need are a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, a lighter, a needle and thread, a French barrette clip, three pieces of 3 8 inch wide ribbon, one piece cut to 4 inches, one cut to 3 inches, and one cut to 1 and 3 quarters inch. And finally, you need a two, I'm sorry, one and a half inch wide ribbon that is cut to 27 inches long. The first bow that I will be showing is the bow that was more of a simple style with fewer embellishments on it. So you will just take the 27 inch length ribbon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the ends of it. Um, I like to cut them on a diagonal. You could also cut them as a fishtail. It's all a matter of preference and my scissors are really dull here. so. Unfortunately, it didn't make a real clean cut, but what you wanna do after you have cut the ends, you then want to seal the ends so they don't fray. And the way I do this is by using a lighter. I just lightly go over it with the lighter and it seals those ends. And this is going to make a bow that is approximately four and a half inches wide. Next, you want to loop the ribbon length around your hand with the ribbon ends pointing in opposite directions as you see here. Now you want to gather the loops in the center by making a pinch at the top, in the middle, and at the bottom. To secure the loops, you will take needle and thread and insert the needle right down the center of where you have gathered the loops. And then you will wrap the thread at least two to three times around the center there and then knot the thread. Next, I'm going to attach the French barrette, and you can use any clip you prefer. You could also use an alligator clip, but in this tutorial, I will be using the French barrette. But before I attach the barrette, I always like to cover it with ribbon, uh, this 3 8 inch ribbon. It just makes it look a lot more custom, and it doesn't the metal doesn't show up as much um, against the bow. So what you will need, again, is two pieces of 3 8 inch ribbon, one piece cut to three inches long and one cut to one and three quarter inches. So before you attach the ribbon to the barrette, you'll want to remove the metal prong. And I always like to seal the ends of my ribbon with the lighter just to prevent any fraying. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply hot glue directly to the barrette to attach the ribbon.
Before I attach the second ribbon to the underside of the barrette, I'm going to first attach the actual barrette to the hair bow. Before attaching the barrette, I always like to position it onto the bow, make sure I know exactly where I want to place it. And to attach it, I'm just going to apply hot glue to the back of the um, French, French barrette and push it onto the hair bow, pressing down on it firmly for about 8 seconds. So once you've attached the barrette, you then want to take your 4 inch length 3 8 inch wide ribbon and this is going to be your center. So I like to create a knot for the center, that's what I'm going to do here. I will go ahead and knot the ribbon and then I will glue it directly onto the center of the front side of the hair bow. This will cover up all of the thread that's showing as well as just help the bow to look even prettier. Now that I've secured the ribbon to the front of the bow, I'm then going to secure it to the alligator, um, not alligator, but the French barrette. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure it to see where I need to trim the ribbon. And any extra length, I'm just going to trim it and then I will seal it with the lighter. Now I'm just going to use the hot glue to secure the ribbon to the barrette and I will secure the one end to directly to the barrette and overlap the ribbon with the other end. Now I'm going to cover the underside of the barrette with the one and three quarter inch ribbon that I had set aside and I'm just going to attach it with the hot glue. Now I'm just going to put the prong back in place and then the bow is complete. The next bow I will demonstrate is this more festive bow and this is basically the bow tutorial I just showed only we are adding more embellishments to it. So we will take that basic bow and we will add these four um, 3 8 inch wide ribbon pieces. These are cut to four and a half inches in length and we are going to attach them to the front of the bow and I will show you how to do that. So first I am cutting each of the ribbon ends on a diagonal and I'm going to um, seal them with a lighter just to prevent any fraying.
Once all of the ribbon ends are trimmed and sealed, you'll then want to place them on the bow where you want them. So you just have to play around with it a bit to see how you like the different patterns or where, where you want them placed. And you'll secure them to the bow by inserting a needle and thread right down the center and wrapping it around the center of the bow at least two to three times. Next, I'm going to add ribbon to the center of the bow to cover up the thread. And I would also add the alligator, not the alligator clip, but the French barrette to the hair bow at this point as well. But I am not going to demonstrate that here because I already showed that um, in the prior bow. So um, to attach, I am just gonna glue the center ribbon on first and then I would attach the barrette to the bow. And after that's complete, I'm then going to add this little pumpkin embellishment to the bow. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Um, if it was, or if you would like to see other bow tutorials from me, give this video a thumbs up. There are other bow styles that I can demonstrate, um, as well as gift bows, or how to attach a bow to a headband. Um, if you're interested in that, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you in my next video.